Okay, so this will be scenario number one. This is our gas failure scenario. Great. So we have a different CDI display, so we can change that to the scenario one display. Okay. And we'll have a set of gases that we'll need to give the student. And the setup for the circuit will include disconnecting the gas line prior to starting. Okay. Gas line disconnected. Okay. And again, the scenario will start as they all do at baseline settings, and as soon as the student comes in, you'll have the saturations drop okay. um, and the SVO2 drop, and will work. Okay. Okay. ECMO has just been initiated for this infant with meconium aspiration, and everyone is starting to clean up after the cannulation. You are just starting to catch up with your charting, and the second set of gases has returned. Okay. I'll be here as, as the nurse and the assistant if you need me to direct me to do anything. Okay. okay. Uh, it looks like my um, stats are dropping, and I'm looking at my patient gas. My CO2 is up and my PO2 is down, so I'm going to adjust my sweep. Okay. And my FiO2, I'm going to go up to about 50 and I'm going to go up on my sweep. Should I do anything else? Our stats are getting pretty low here. They're 85% they're 80, Okay, so, so my patient's not getting better, yeah. so okay, I'm going to go up a little bit more, but I think maybe um, my post-membrane gas, my PO2 is only 41, so yeah, I think, should I do anything Can you um, go up to 100% okay, um, I'm have PO2? It. I think there might be something wrong with my okay, oxygenator. Okay, go to our emergency bed settings here then. I'm just going to check my oxygenator. Okay. It looks like, I'm just going to check, my gas is um, disconnected. I'm going to connect my gas line. We don't need to come off ECMO. Okay, should we come off ECMO because... No, we're not going to come off ECMO. This okay. is going to help here. Okay. Okay, is my patient getting better uh, now that not, I... Not yet. Oh, a little bit okay. here. We're still in 100% okay. vent and on emergency vent settings. Okay, it looks like our vent's working okay. Okay, we can turn down the FiO2 a little bit. Well, our patient's not getting better very fast. Okay. I'm going to go back up on the FiO2 to my membrane okay. a little bit. Okay. It looks like we're getting some response. Maybe she's just hold and... Okay. Okay, can you turn the FiO2 down on the ventilator? Okay, I'm gonna okay. yeah, control things over here. Can we get another set of gases? Okay, we're almost okay. back down. I'm gonna start resting. weaning my FiO2. Okay, we're back to rest settings on the vent. Everything looks like it's still working over here. Nice job. Our patient is stable and you found the problem. You appropriately looked at the gases and you noticed that the CO2 was too high and the oxygen was too low, so indicating that the oxygenator was not working to some extent. Mm -hmm. You also noticed that the CDI was reflecting the same real-time numbers. And then we noticed that our patient actually was unstable, was desaturating, so it wasn't just an artifact of the monitoring equipment. Uh, you appropriately then looked at the rest of the ECMO circuit to determine uh, why the oxygenator was not working, and you found that it was actually just a leak in the gas supply to the oxygenator. Mm -hmm. You communicated that well back to the nurse at the bedside and worked together as a team to let her know that there was a real problem, how to additionally help the baby until you could fix the problem, but that you thought you could fix the problem very quickly, and definitely there was no indication to come off that moment. Very nice. Thank you.